All right, so hey, this is Ibex. I'm making a, a quick little video. This week's event is the casino. Um, wishing The wishing fountain, but it, you know, it says it right here, casino. At some point, DH decided that that was offensive and they changed it, but we still got it locked in over here on Idle Heroes PS. So I need to do this event and I gotta, I gotta spin it a bunch. Let's see. Right now I've got I've got my my wheel on a pretty ideal spot because it's I've got a high roll on the 600. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit it until I get um, that bait uh, because I do because my, my focus is to get the gold right the gold. I don't think I think this is like a middle roll on on soul. I wish this was higher. 100 is like really low. If I don't get the bait and um, a handful of spins, I'm going to take my chances and refresh it <clears throat> you try to get a higher roll because i've got this max roll of 600k gold and that's great i'd like the the magic dust or whatever it's called yeah magic dust to be higher i don't care about uh monster souls anymore because i've got three pets maxed and i'll soon have um you know i'll just soon have like too much soul to do anything with uh, but I do, I really do want to get, I'm like always low on gold and I'm always low on magic dust. Um, so I'm trying to build all the heroes. All of the heroes! Alright, if I don't get it in, let's say, 10 more rolls, I'm going to give up on Bade because I don't really care. I don't really need them. Um, and I'm going to switch over and just see if I can get... Get a higher roll in gold. And if I don't, it's not a big deal. I'm just going to keep doing this and, and keep pushing it. Um, so, what's new? I just made a video on Benka's uh, tower smash. He got to tower... Oh, there we go, Bade. There we go. He hit tower 1000 in, I think, record time. It's day four. I, I, could, I could not believe that. Day four. All right, so here are we doing. We've got, we've got a medium roll on dust. We've got a low roll on gold. So I'm going to try again. Um, we've got a, a medium roll on gold and a low roll on dust and you can look up, you can look up what your, you know, cause it's based on your level and you can go to the discord and you can type in, go to the command chat and you can type in dot LVL or dot level space. And then whatever your level is, whatever it says up here at the top, top left, whatever your level is. So dot LVL 294 space 294. And then it'll t it'll give you the seasonal resources. Um, it'll tell you what your high roll for gold is. It'll tell you what your high roll for souls is. My high roll at my level is around 600 or almost 700k gold at the highest. So what I'm hoping to land on is a high roll for gold and a high roll for, for dust. Um, or you know maybe I will get a, a, an LD hero that I want to build and I'll and I'll and I'll spin for that. A lot of people go for heroes. A lot other people go for the resources. I think I find it to be that it's really easy to get copies of the heroes you need. Even light dark heroes, it's pretty easy to get the copies you need. So my focus has been <clears throat> on gold and spirit. But okay, so there we got a high roll for gold, but. Uh, the low rolls for spirit and everything else so i'm not too happy about that but i'm gonna go ahead and do a couple rolls on this to oh that was quick got my fat moo all right onward and upward medium roll and i really don't want to waste uh gems refreshing so it's one of those things where if i don't get what i want i'll be sad i might just end the video if i don't get Cause this is uh, there's a medium roll for dust. Give me that 300. Come on, baby, give it to me. 200. Another low roll for gold. 200 dust is a medium roll. It's just not. Oh, I can hear a siren. Who's in trouble? Oh, there we go. That's nice. Okay, I'll I'll take that. That's a that's a high roll for gold. A medium roll for 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 magic dust. That's that's good enough for me to just. I'm gonna I'm gonna spin till I win. I don't know about you, but I feel like there's RNG is crazy on this game. RNG, I feel like there's sometimes where if I if I win whatever's on the wheel, if I win that five star and then I refresh, I feel like I'll often win again, like I just did with the bait and the fat moo. Like it seems like there's like moments where your RNG is all 
hooked in and you get what you want and it happens in bursts. Like same for, I mean, there's obviously something with when you're doing your heroic scrolls and you get, you'll you get like a lot of good things on in one and I don't know, RNG, RNG, I, I just, I can't, I, I cannot abide, I cannot believe that RNG is truly random. It just, it doesn't seem like it is, especially on this game. Now I'm not like a gambler besides this game. I'm not really a gambler, so I don't, I can't speak to, I can't speak to how it is in other games. I really don't play other games. And I can't speak to what it is, you know, if you go to, if you go to Las Vegas and spin the wheel. Um, <clears throat> but on this game, it really feels like it's, uh, it's not random. And there's something, there's something like you can, you can game it a little bit. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. <clears throat> but yeah, I feel like if you get something good, you, there's, there's, there's a chance, you know, if, if you're, like, if you're using, if you're using your branches and you're not getting the hero you want, I'll stop. But if I use the, if I'm using the branches and I get the hero I want, I'm going to spam the branches a lot more in that, in the next couple minutes. Cause I feel like there's, there's like a high, like if, if, if you're getting one thing is a higher rate that you're going to get that thing again on this game. I don't know, you know, how RNG is. I don't know how people design and build those RNG systems. I don't know how it works. I'm not a genius. I'm not, I, I do some mild coding. I like to play around with code, but I'm not. I'm not the man in charge. I'm not the I'm not the kind of person that can really come up with with uh, with this the, the kind of code that that uh, makes magic like these games possible. So now another really good thing when you're doing these spins is you're getting a lot. I think each spin gets you a certain amount of luck coins, and luck coins I really recommend spending them on LD heroes. Uh, it's tempting to buy the cheaper copies of these. Um, uh, regular faction heroes and maybe you, you, can, you can do it at the beginning for sure if you're trying to get um, a hero that you want you can do it at the beginning so I've got 17,220 if I do a spin what do I have now I'm on I think you get 50 per 10 spin uh, oh you get 100 per 10 spin so I'm at 17,320 so <clears throat> you know I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy another mem for sure actually because I need, I need the avatar. Like when I was, uh, I I have I, I like this. This avatar is fine. This is the the ten star avatar for men, and then of course I've got the five star avatar for men. But I never actually built a six star mem. I used the replace. There's my five. I used the replace. I had a my carry. I replaced with. Um, I used this profit, st this uh, ten-star replacement stone, and I and I, you know, I, I picked. Well, I don't have carry anymore, but I picked my carry, and then I went over here and I just, you know, I selected my mem and I pressed replace, and then I had. Uh, I so I skipped over building the the six-star mem, and so now I'm like, oh man, I, I really want I really want that avatar, and I've got a lot of heroes. I don't have any mem copies anymore so i'm over here like uh craving it um and i'll go ahead and do a, a free refresh while i've got it right now it'd be great to get one more mem i just want it for like that's i just want one more mem so i could i can hit this replace button I, i'm not i'm not super um uh um savey you know i don't i don't know what the word is i don't really save these you know i don't care too much if i spend some to to get the copy I want right now, but I do find it's not it's not easy. It's a, even though there's you're getting eight and there's only what 80 heroes, I find that whatever hero it is that you want, it just won't show up sometimes, and you end up spending. I've spent a lot. I've probably spent like I don't know, three thousand <laughs> uh, of these, maybe four thousand of these, trying to get the copy I want for whatever reason, you know. So uh, annoying. You know, I should. Oh, there's my mem. All right, so I got them. And do some more spins. Actually, I want to build them. I'm going to build them right now, real quick. Building my men only for the six star avatar. There we go. Um, who do I want to use this food? Probably just food. Yeah, just use that food. And now, give it to me. He's probably at the bottom. Yeah, there, purple. 
I got my purple mem. I actually, I actually like the blue one more. Is that, is that wrong? I like the blue one more. Whatever. I've got my mem. Um, I actually haven't done my fusion event. Super important to do the fusion event. You don't want to, you don't want to miss out on these resources. Um, so even if you're just starting, <clears throat> if you're new to the game, you've got the fusion event runs all month, right? So, uh, push to whatever you can build while you've got it, you know, <clears throat> and then the awaken event also runs all month. So you really want to do, you can, if you're pushing, if you're pushing hard, you can do both of these events fully, fully do both of these events every month. And it's uh, a month is five weeks on Idle Heroes PS. So the full cycle is five weeks. Um, all right, so let's finish. Let's finish. Uh, how many more? How many more spins do I need to do? At some point, they're going to add a, a hundred spin. I actually think they're going to. They're looking at adding. So I only need to do, a hundred eighty more. So I need, I need to do, eighteen spins more. At some point, they're going to add not just a hundred spin. They're going to add, I believe, a stick your own number in so you can do you know 2500 at once which would be crazy <laughs> i'd love to see I, I, like the ui for whatever uh uh rewards you get from that i think it'd be crazy to see but it's on the back burner you've only got a couple people working on the stuff behind the scenes it's not like dh where they've got a billion people um if you're on the discord um <clears throat> There's a suggestion box, and you can plug in, you know, you can make your suggestions, and um, uh, there's, if you look, there's a huge suggestion board of all the stuff that, and I, I've, I maintain the suggestion board of all the stuff that people have asked for, and I, I kind of rank it in that way of things that are going to happen that the devs confirmed, things that um, will never happen, things that might happen. And things that, uh, what's the other category? There's, I think there's four. Turn your lights on, bro. I'm sitting outside my car recording this video for you guys. All right. A couple more spins, I think, and we'll be done. So, uh, the other thing, let's see how many more spins we got. Uh, two more. The other thing... And that's everything, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This event's pretty quick to finish. The other thing is that Mysterious Chest, I don't I don't think it's worth it. I don't think anything's worth it. Maybe the, the Heroic Scrolls are worth it. Uh, these deals just aren't great. Ugh. 2,000 gems for gear. Yeah, I mean, I, maybe do that one for the artifact? No, I, I don't think anything's worth it. I don't think any, maybe, maybe if you need copies, that one's worth it. I don't know. I actually, I usually do it just cause I, I, I don't care. I, I know it's not worth it, but I just, I like things to be completed. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> a little bit crazy. I've got enough for an artifact or a premium, uh, LD copy. I could have gotten my mem copy here. I kind of, I, I am kind of savvy when it comes to these. I did spend a bunch that I had. Um, but yeah, let's do these last two spins. So yeah, I don't really recommend, if you're really, like if you're starting out, I would say don't even, don't even bother with the, uh, the, the, uh, gym box event. Woo! 800. Now at some point, I do think that there's some kind of, uh, there'll be some expanded, I'm, I'm saving. I, and you shouldn't do this. You really shouldn't save like a crazy person. But at some point, they're talking about doing some kind of uh, event expansion of the Wishing Well. I don't think it, it's going to be just added tiers. I think it's going to be something more unique. Um, <clears throat> uh, having a higher, uh, uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea what it'll be. But I'm saving because I don't know. I just don't, you know. I, at this point, I'm kind of cruising in S1. I've got my, I've got a, a full team built. I'm, you know, able to maintain. Oh, look at this! Pain's Guild is, oh, uh, I love, I love it when they, when, when a bunch of people get lined up. Maybe I can break this, break this, pick this up. Let's see if I can climb. I, I really can't beat a lot of teams right now. I don't even know if I can beat this guy. I was beating, I beat him once the other night, I beat that guy. 
I can um, <clears throat> see if I can climb up, say hello to the top. It's becoming harder. It was it was really easy for a little while when they uh, when people didn't have their teens fully built. Uh, I think maybe peak whiskey. I do not like vases. They really hurt me. I got past them. Uh -huh. I think I can beat that guy. <clears throat> so my team's kind of obvious which ones I can beat because I've got a field, so it does really well against assassins. But you know this 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 Aspen Almond Raw copy uh, or combo gets me. I do not like it. I do not like it at all. So I, while I I can potentially climb up, I think I can beat this guy. Maybe Michelle is dicey. Got Michelle in the front. So yeah, while I can climb up, if I'm careful which here which 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 guys I fight, I struggle when I get to the top. Uh, or I struggle to um, what do you call it? Not. I, I, I struggle to maintain because so many teams can beat me. Maybe this guy. Garuda is pretty brutal against. I'm not really great against Garuda. I think I can beat these guys. Am I still. I'm not even in the top 50 yet? Or it just hasn't. Okay, so it wasn't updating. I'm top 43. Got a little ways to go before it starts showing me the pain at the top. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I can beat these guys. You know, you lose a lot more points if you, like if I, you know, I'm picking, if I pick a guy on the bottom, I'm losing 30 points and I'm only gaining 20 if I beat him, right? But if I pick someone, you know, if I hit above my class, like Whiskey I think was above, um, <clears throat> I get a little bit more points, but I have more to lose. Or I have less to, I have less to, if I pick someone at the top, I have less to lose. If I pick someone at the bottom, I have more to lose. So, so for each, each, each refresh, you know, this one is about even with you usually, and then this one's um, uh, below you. That is until you get to the top. If you get to number one, then everyone below you is uh, a big potential loss of points. So, um, oops, I actually refreshed too. I'm, I kind of want to be slow to refresh because while when you let's see so like when you um right now like because i just won one i'm actually refreshing against teams that are lower but you'll see at some point you hit refresh and it does like a little it catches you know it has it like it does a lot it takes a little longer to refresh and that's when you know that it's done an actual refresh of your point value i don't know if that makes sense i can try re-explaining it again in a little bit. Can I get this guy? Ooh. Why is he? Where is? Oh, what did the other guy have in front? Yeah, that that guy that he's copying. So he's copying the number one team, and I don't know if I can beat it. I need to get off this video in a little bit. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I mean, I could take a chance on. I don't know if I'm going to be able to climb up to the top. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I mean, I can take some gambles. These, these, these copy teams, I, I, I don't, I'm not good against them. So, you know, the same with the, um, well, I don't beat them that time. You know, I, maybe I should take another look at doing it, it, some of these teams that I thought that I can't beat. Because I usually lose against these Horus teams. Dang, maybe I've just, maybe, you know, when I tested it, so I really did build my team to try to do well against Horus teams, but felt like, you know, my little small sample size of, of three that I tried to beat, yeah, I just lost to one. I lost to another one. So, yeah, I mean, it's not like a very, it's not a consistent win rate against those guys. Mm -hmm. I know you came here to watch me do a uh, wishing well event, but here I am just 
dying against teams in town and, and teams in the arena. I mean, yeah. Okay, so that, that those two wins were lucky against these uh, these uh, <clears throat> Horus teams. So now I'm back. Yeah, you see the numbers stopped refreshing. Now I'm back out of the top 50. It doesn't refresh live when you're not in the top 50. So uh, unless I start winning again, <laughs> which I'm not doing. Um, I'm going to be okay. My team sucks. I need to, I need to rework on it. I actually haven't even, I haven't even updated my, yeah, I need, I need to rethink some of the stuff in here or switch heroes or something. Um, it was, it was fun while, while I, while I lasted. Now I, I did build, start to build Tar. I did start to build Olivia. I really like C the idea of doing CC team. Um, and I did start to build Dragon Slayer. He's really great because of this, uh, this passive right here where he protects the back line. <clears throat> and if you put him on the back line, then he will automatically protect the other three. So it's a very, it's not, when it says three random, it's only three random if he's not one of the three on the back line. So it's kind of a cool little feature of Dragon Slayer. He's very consistent. And I think Arena, a lot of things about Arena um, heroes is that you want someone who's consistent. Um, so I love, I love this team by pain. I just love it. Um, because it's, it, it, everything makes sense in it. You know what I mean? Like, um, <clears throat> you want these two to drop an HP, right? Because he gets, he gives your whole team a, a big defensive boost and she heals and silences the team. Uh, let me pull up, uh, Vesa's Vase's skills. So when her health falls down, she silences and okay, she just heals herself. So at one point I thought that she healed the whole team, but no, she so she drops <clears throat> when she drops below fifty percent, she silences the whole team pretty consistently, one hundred percent chance. Very few heroes will um, throw that off. So and then and then heals herself. So. That, that that's a, that's like 90% of why they're using her. The other aspect is she's just a really good healer. She may even be better than Ormus and um, Bell Rain at this point. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, back to this team by Pain, which I really like. So Rosa, when he drops in HP, he gives defensive boost to the whole team. When she drops in HP, she silences the enemy team. So, so she's got these two on the front line to drop fast. And then she's got this whole uh, group protected. So, um, oh, and, you know, Rosa's also insanely good because he now has Goosen's passive. But, yeah, so I was showing, I showed you Dragon Slayer. He's got this whole, these three guys protected. Most importantly, but they're all important. But most importantly, the damage dealer for this team is Melasa. So if you were trying to build this team, you would build her first. Uh, that's what, That would be the first hero you build in this team. Because um, everything else is support in some way. These two guys deal CC. Um, <clears throat> and they work. They, they, they do work really well together. Um, because whenever um, whenever someone gets twined, uh, uh, which, is the, which is both of these guys twine, and whenever someone gets twined, uh, DH boosts damage that your heroes do by i think five percent attack boost all it's something like that right right am i totally misreading it uh dh boosts your entire team's damage whenever someone gets cc'd with twine yeah so all allies increase attack that means that vase's heals increase by five percent you know or, or they her attack increases five percent so that increases her heals it also means that Malasa and by by uh, and uh, and and DH himself and Oberon's heals increase. Oh, it's just the the way that everything on this team synergizes really well because uh, Orm, Oberon heals whenever um, he heals the whole team whenever uh, um, an enemy becomes entwined. So um, I do well, or I don't do well against it. I would I would beat this team if it weren't for. Um, if it weren't for uh, Vesa's silence. Oh, there it was. I saw it. 
this one. Okay. So yeah, this he's got that. He's he's running that exact team. I don't know if he built it the same way, but um, I can show you. So yeah, you can see I do really well against this team at the beginning because I I uh, um, can stun out a lot of their their team, but then suddenly I'm silenced and my actives no longer work and my team really depends on actives. So I don't really do well against this. They're all now they're all uncc'd and now the twines begin. They get me locked down and they start it boosts all their healing, it boosts their attack. And then suddenly I'm dead. Maybe not, but I think I am. Um, Malasa, <clears throat> yeah, I can't, I can't win this. No way. Maybe? No way. Mm, nope. <laughs> so Malasa does all the, her, all of her damage comes from do from whenever her team crits. So if I'm able to lock down her whole team, I, I'll sometimes beat this team. But um, if I only lock down half, it's not enough. So uh, yeah, that's that's a little bit a long ass video for for my wishing well for this week. Uh, and um, you know, I love I love making these videos. They do take a little bit of time. Love to see you subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.